I'm 17 years old and I am tired of constantly fighting for my life. I'm tired of worrying if I will come home at night. I'm tired of telling my friends to be safe because I really don't know what will happen after I leave. For so long, black and brown children have had to deal with intercommunal violence and the trauma that comes with it. Most children know trauma before they know television. They've gone to funerals before they've gone to parks. You won't find this in one rare case. Most times you'll find that people of color mourn to death in the family before they hit middle school. In inner cities, when we talk about gun violence, we aren't just talking about inner community. Police brutality has been a huge problem in our communities for a long time. We aren't able to call on people who are supposed to serve and protect because they see our skin as a threat. In the past six years, 92 people have been killed by police officers in Chicago. In Chicago, 487 people have been shot this year alone. That is 272 less than our 759 in 2016 and 212 less than our 699 in 2017. That is how many people, that is how many people's families are suffering because they lost a loved one to gun violence. We need a change. We need more resources. Our mayor needs to defund his $95 million cop academy and invest in our community. He needs to reopen our schools, our mental health care clinics that have been closed. We need spaces to talk about trauma that we have experienced on a day-to-day -day basis. In a city where gunshots are irregular, we need to talk about the PTSD we, we need not to normalize the pain we are feeling. Chicago officials need to start looking through a racial equity lens to let the resources provided benefit every in Chicago. We are demanding safe spaces. We are demanding resources. We are demanding that black and brown people in Chicago are allowed to survive. Thank you. What safety means to me is reinvestment in our schools, in our communities, bringing more counselors, more social workers, more psychiatrists in our schools and in our communities to help students who are not only struggling in their schools but in their community as well. We need more mental and behavioral health services to support our students who have been experiencing the gun violence in Chicago for decades. I hear y'all anger, but I'm hurt. And like, I lost a friend five years ago to gun violence, and I'm hurt. And like, all the friends that I grieved with on that day, they didn't make it to this day because they lost their lives to the same thing. And, and it wasn't until I got to college and I moved out of the Woodland community where I grew up in that I realized that my neighborhoods are really deprived of these resources. And like when we lose friends in high school, no one cares about what happens to us two weeks later after they die. And like they, they're gone, but we're still here to deal with that. And I'm hurt and I'm hurting and I hear these stories and I'm hurt. In 27 years, this, is, this, this south side of the city, the Chicago South Side has not had a trauma center. 27 years. That's a long time. That's a long time and no one's been talking about it. And I didn't even know that was an issue until I got to college and I'm surrounded by four trauma centers. And if I break a foot, it'll be fixed before I even leave my front door. And I'm hurt because no one cares about the students on the Chicago South Side. No one cares about the students who, are, who, friend, who lose their friends to gun violence every day. All of these babies made these, these dolls and no one cares about what they're going through at home or at school and they have to lose their lives. And I'm hurt. I'm really hurt. I've lost friends to gun violence and suicide every year. Every year. And I suffer from my own PTSD, so I only can imagine what it's like for you students. I can only imagine what it's like for someone who's still emerging in this community where there's no resources to help you. And so I stand here with Good Kids Mad City, and I will not allow your voices and your pain and the friends we've lost together to go in vain. And I stand here to say that I'm hurt, and there needs to be a change. And at the foot of this issue and at the root of this issue is mental health. And so why is that not being addressed?